Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Tonight we begin a new sharp practice campaign called The Good Doctor. So before I begin the briefing for tonight, I just want to mention I will not be using the Dawns and Departures uh, campaign supplement. Haven't quite got to grips with that yet. I'm still reading through it. So the way I'm going to do this campaign is it's going to be more of a living campaign where I'm not going to write the next battle or uh, game of the campaign until the, the previous one is done. And I'll base uh, what happens in the next one off the results of the first one. So the briefing tonight, um, I'm going to read the briefing for each of the forces and go over the forces at the same time. And that'll kind of cover the, uh, the briefing. So we'll get started with the uh, Continentals. The Continentals briefing. Captain Stephen Montrose, commander of the Loyalist forces, has been informed by his spies that there are stolen documents critical to the cause hidden in a large farmhouse owned by a Loyalist spy. He sends word of his intention to capture the spy and recover the documents to his superiors and sets off for the farm. So the objective, the Americans must find the documents in the house and take the spy back to headquarters. To find the documents, a task roll 20 must be reached. A task roll can be made using one flag after the tiffin. One group must be in the house to do the search. After the documents are found, they must be taken off the table by a group or leader. To capture the spy, he must be in custody of any unit or leader when the documents are found. At that point, the unit or leader which has him in custody can begin to move off the table. The Continentals can recapture the spy by having a group or leader recontact him. And I'll get into the spy here in a minute. Uh, victory. If the Americans secure the documents and get them off the table and hold the spy, it is a major victory. If they fail either one, it is a loss. So the forces for the Continentals tonight. Um, Montrose, leader number one. He's a level two. He is the overall force commander. This is a largely militia force. So he's got three groups of Continental line, or I'm sorry, militia line. There's also leader number two. He's a level one, Sergeant Benjamin Adams. He will be a leader helping out Montrose. Uh, leader three, Lieutenant Bartholomew Hancock. He will be in charge of two groups of Continental Line. Leader four is good old Johnny Walker, leading his group of uh, light infantry skirmishers. And finally, Mr. Robert Wadsworth, leading, leading his uh, level, um, he's a level one, I should say, and he's leading the Rangers. So these guys have rifles. Everyone else has muskets. Uh, special rules wise, the militia have um, first fire only and they have no bayonets. And they do have sharp practice. And the line, Continental Line, has sharp practice. And these two groups here have all the trappings of a light infantry unit. Um, so tomahawks, aggressive, movable deployment point, sharp practice, and all that other good stuff. So that is the Continentals. Now we will go take a look at the British forces. Here we have the British force. So briefing. Lieutenant Archibald Argyle has received word from his scouts that a mixed force of Continentals and militia have raided the house of a loyalist spy. He has orders to drive the rebels from the farm and secure the documents important to the crown. He has also to rescue the spy and return him to New York. British objective. Stop the rebels from completing the search of the farmhouse. Also rescue the good doctor. The British can stop the rebel search by driving him off the table through force morale or contacting the house. To rescue the doctor, a British unit must get in contact with him. He will move with that unit after that. British victory conditions. The British must secure the house with the documents in it and rescue Dr. Ferens. If they do both, it is a major victory. If they only accomplish one, it is a minor victory. If Dr. Ferens is free and the British forces the rebels off the table, they secure him. If he is still in the custody of the rebels and they leap the board for any reason, the rebels retain custody of him. So British forces. So overall force commander, force uh, leader, leader number one, level two, Lieutenant Archibald Argyle, in charge of two groups of redcoats. Leader number two, Lieutenant Harry Johnson, promoted from the ranks of foot dragoons to lead two groups of redcoats. He's a level two. Both of those guys are. Uh, leader three is a new leader, Lieutenant Daniel Klain. Uh, Dan is a uh, our first specialist major level patron, so he gets a character named after him, and he chose to be a light infantry leader. So he's a level one. Thank you, Dan. Uh, leader four, Tatanka, leading the Indian skirmishers, level one. And finally, leader number five, Mr. George Ramsbottom, lieutenant, level one, leading a unit of dragoons. 
So special rules wise, red coats have sharp practice. The light infantry have all the normal light infantry rules. Tatanka is an Indian skirmisher. He's not light infantry, but he does have tomahawks. He is aggressive and he can't bring a movable deployment point. And then Ramsbottom just has the tally ho rule and that's it. So now we'll just take a look at the doctor, uh, Brian Ferens himself and go over his rules. So here we have the good doctor himself, Brian Ferens. So his, his rules, the doctor starts in custody of the Continental Force Commander. He can attempt to escape the rebels at any time by using one command card after the Tiffin. Uh, roll a d6 on a 3 plus, he escapes and moves 2d6 in any direction. He can move 2d6 with one command card after any Tiffin if he's free. He must try and reach a British unit. If recaptured, he must spend two command cards to make another attempt. So that is it for the briefing. So we still haven't decided who is going to be who. Um, I might just go uh, Continentals. I don't know if I've ever been the Continentals. I've always seemed to be the Redcoats, but I like being the Redcoats. Uh, I guess I should go over uh, deployment, how that's going to work. So the Continentals are going to be able to deploy 12 inches from this edge, or they're going to be able to place their uh, deployment point 12 inches from this edge. And they will deploy their deployment point first, and the Redcoats will put theirs down second, and they will be able to place theirs on any of the other three edges. And their movables, should they have one, can go uh, placed as normal. But the uh, Americans, if they have a movable deployment point as a support option, that too will only be able to be up to 12 inches from this edge. So we will go ahead, uh, figure out who we're going to be, roll up our uh, force morale, pick our supports, and get started. All right, so Andre's here. Now we pick sides. I'm going to be the Continentals. So Andre will be the Redcoats, I think, first time. Not. Nah. Uh, possibly against you. I know I uh, oh, was the Redcoats yeah. against Steve a couple of times, but okay. I'm not sure we've had this particular matchup. I don't think so either. And I don't know if I've ever been, I can't even remember ever being the Continentals. Maybe in a practice game at some point. I don't know. But anyway, so before we uh, go any further, I'll go over the terrain real quick. So the building is hardcover. It's a stone built house. This little thing here is a forest with um, an enclosed forest with hardcover around it, so a four inch visibility, so this will block line of sight. There's also a stone wall over there. Uh, there's a forest over there. And this orchard blocks line of sight as well, um, unless you're in it. Um, so it's six inches to visibility. And it is more than six, so the footprint of that orchard is blocks line of sight, unless you're in it and you're within six of the edge. So. Okay, so we both uh, rolled for some morale. I got a 10, Andre's got an 11. Uh, we both picked our support. We only had, we got two support points each. So I picked a holy man and a musician, and Andre picked a physic and a musician. And deployment wise, I deployed my jump off point right there. And Andre just chose to put his jump off point right there. So that is it. So we are ready to begin. Are you ready to pull some uh, cards? No, I am not, but uh, I guess I should uh, rapidly... Uh, get ready. Get your card pulling hand out. All right. Okay. Let's... Here we go. See if I can remember how to yeah, pull Andre's the Tiffin. This for a while. <laughs> it has been a while, and the good guys get a... Red flag, okay. Flag. Just remember to keep some flags around. Well... Because you need them at the you end. You've got your flag things. for the end. Yep. And you got a flag to burn. Random event. Did we, get, oh, no, we never put the ones back in there. I'm, uh, I'm guessing we're going to get a random event real fast here, Travis. All right, hold on. <laughs> we'll figure this one out. I was going to stop the camera, but then I was like, we'll just keep rolling. Just keep it rolling. But I never got to what, the What to could stop. possibly go wrong? All right, take two. Well, that's what could go wrong. Blue three. That is Bartholomew Hancock. The Hancock has come in uh, 12 inches. You get extra 6 inches if you're defending, which I am, so... Uh, Salt or Bar Bartholomew Hancock has brought his two groups of Continental Line in right there. So next flag, or next card, red flag. Blue four. That's Johnny. So Johnny Walker deployed 18 from the uh, deployment point. You want to call them jump off points, but so he's over there against the fence. Man, another blue. One. <laughs> I don't want them all right now. Well, that's Wadsworth. I hate to break it to you. I think I'm just going to wait for him. Okay. I need to leave someone in reserve. There's your flag. All right. 
Yeah, assuming I get someone in the house. There's my flag. Ooh. Red one, that's your main man. Coming down. Argyle. So Argyle's come in there. There's uh, two groups in his entourage and presented. So is it uh, coincidence we were just talking about his socks? Argyle. Right. <laughs> no, I was talking about cowboy boots with his sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and his Argyle socks. And his Argyle socks. Okay. Three. Okay. So, so I could activate a leader with that. You could bring a leader in with that right now. Or I could draw again and try and pull another one. How many more? I've only got four flags in here though, right? Yeah, we each got four. So, and you've only pulled one of your red ones, so, and I got two blue ones left, plus three flags, so there's quite a few left. And the Tiffin, of course. What will let Andre think about it? He's going to pull. Tiffin. Okay, another one. Another one. Okay, hold on. Now I need to make a decision. <laughs> See, the thing is, I need to get a group in this house so I can start searching. But if I use all three to do that, I won't have one to do you the search. search. But if you pull the tiff in, then I'll have the same thing. So it might almost be worth it for me to bring in uh, Montrose now and hope to get another flag. Because if you, if you pull the tiff in, I'm, yep. I'm going to be more screwed. So I think I'm going to do this. I use my three flags to bring in uh, Sergeant Benjamin Adams with one group to start searching should we get another blue flag and the tiffin. Nope. Oh. oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing I brought him in. So he'll uh, be ready sucks. to come in. Uh, and you see you burned, you didn't waste all your flags? Oh, I guess... Uh, you never used them, so you wasted them. I could have the uh, good uh, doctor try and escape. But he's not on the board yet. He's That's with, okay. He he's could escape from off the board. <laughs> okay. He automatically made it off the board. So that's one victory point now. All right, we'll move in right to the next turn. And I need to start searching that house because I need to build up 20 uh, task points to get it done. Well, okay, there it is. So there's I'll your save flag. That one. I'll just set this over here so I don't be tempted to use it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Blue two. Oh, that's the, that's him. So he's not going to do anything because you have to wait till after the tiffin. That Three is uh, Clean. Okay, so Lieutenant Dan Clean, and he's light infantry, so he That's can come these in. These guys, right? Yep, he can come in 12 inches from your. So Lieutenant Clean has come in there, right in the middle of the field, and he is going to fire onto uh, who's that? Hancock. So seven shots, needing fours for all their bonuses. So do they all go on here, or do I? Sp oh God, am I? Totally confusing things. <laughs> right. fours. Four fours. Okay, so two each. So I'll just do two on to uh, this guy here. So a point of shock. And this other group, point of shock. So point of shock each. And so he reloaded with his second action. Okay, blue flag. I'm going to be tempted to use those for other things. Oh, you can bring another unit in, Travis. <laughs> no, I got to say, <laughs> could keep it for sharp practice, though. Or take some shock off with it. Or blue three. That's Hancock. That's him. So, so all I did was I used one of the three flags and one command to remove both shock, and I'm just going to stay put. Thought about wheeling and firing onto Clean, but don't want to do that. Uh, Who's number one? Montrose. Solomon Montrose. Oh, so Montrose has come in there. And we're going to fire into Clean. Uh, he's going to get hard cover because I'm shooting through the orchard and he is a uh, light infantry so he gets plus one on his uh, um, safe cover. So first fire I can present on the first one and I get the first fire so I need fours. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits. So ten hits on them, hard cover. All right, you know, need something good. Uh, two dead, that's good. Uh, yeah. But no shock. Still. So let's see if it's the leader. Is... Or, or are you supposed to roll that? I can't remember now. I think we're getting games mixed up. <laughs> I think that's both action. I can action. guarantee it. I think you were supposed to roll that, but do you want to take the two dead or do you want to re-roll it? 
I, it was a legit leave roll roll. Okay, I guess it really doesn't matter, but from now on, I think we're playing bolt action here. So two dead. Uh, let's roll to see if it's your we're leader. Playing, uh, it is your leader. This isn't bolt action. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I did hit your leader though. Well, after this, we'll let Andre roll his own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so why did you continue rolling? Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> so you guys, Scott are gonna make it. It was my leader. It was your leader. No, it wasn't. Okay, so all right, you know what? It was my leader. I rolled a three, so he's knocked out. Okay. So I don't know how much it matters who rolls it. Uh, technically, he was supposed to be rolling. That. All that matters is that uh, the dice uh, gets rolled. are impartial. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we just played and a game of bolt action. That you guys remember at the end that Travis cheats. Yes. Okay. So he's uh, knocked out. So roll a bad thing. Junior or level one. I said nothing happened on the bad thing. He rolled it too. So again, I apologize. We just got done playing a game of bolt action not that long ago. In that game, you actually roll the same guy who fires rolls. So. So I got to take two dudes out. No, just right? one. Because oh, one of them is So, but as Andre said, in the end, the dice are just rolled anyway. It doesn't matter really who rolls them, but so long as you agree it was a legitimate roll, and you were rolling legit. Tiffin, nice. Okay, well, this is going to be a, a short, frustrating <laughs> game for me, isn't it? Well, hold on, I'm going to use a uh, one of those to search the house. Yeah. So I need a good roll here. Come on, give me a six, a five. I'll take it. So I'm almost there. Uh, gone through a few drawers, um, found the uh, doctor's wife's unmentionables. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I documents got one there. also, don't I? You do. So you could actually activate a unit that's on the board that hasn't activated yet, if you would like. I would. Okay. Okay. So Andre activated uh, his main man there, Argyle. Argyle. And he moved 1d6, uh, got a 5, moved to 45, wound up there, and represented. So. Again, uh, sorry, Dan, but you've been wounded immediately. <laughs> You're not dead, though. <laughs> Be happy about that. <laughs> that and, Travis uh, is a sneaky guy. Notice how he wanted to roll the <laughs> dice that was taking you down. Yeah. I'm a nice guy, but I was being Travis. Dead. Yeah. All right, here we are. And... Blue 5. That's you. Oh, that's me. I mean, I'm so used to being I'm the good guys. That's Wadsworth. Okay, let me think about it. I kind of wanted to save him. What do you got left? You still got your horses. Man, you got everything out I, there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me think if I want to bring Wadsworth in. So I brought in. Wadsworth in on the end of the line here. And we're going to keep pouring fire into uh, Clean's group. So needing threes because uh, effective range, first fire, and light infantry. So needing threes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Only you, six. You roll them, right? <laughs> uh, six. Okay, so they're all on that group. Yep, and hardcover. So just a shock. Man, okay. Well, you can't pull it off because uh, he's knocked out. But he does have a physic, so he could get over there. Well, so I'd like to think the physic could get over there. Andre is in trouble already because I've already got all my stuff out and he's got hardly anything on the board. <laughs> so I've got a formidable defensive line set up even around the end if he tries yeah, to Yeah, but I'm pretty horses. sure we can defend our position. <laughs> Problem is you got to get over here and get the house. W what do you mean I'm not the defender? <laughs> <laughs> Me again. That's Hancock. All right. Uh, we're kind of at a standoff here, aren't we? <laughs> You're the one with the chit. <laughs> We're, just stay there. We're not moving. This guy's arms are getting tired of holding those rifles. That's uh, yep. Clean. He's knocked out. Yep. So he can't do anything. There's my There's flag. Flag. Come on, Tiffin. Fiver. That's Ram's bottom. So now you have to decide what to do with him. He's your main. Striking the ram's bottom is uh, not coming in yet. But I got a flag. Yeah, it's this was not a good start for you. I was able it's to still deploy. still not a good start for me. <laughs> so one, that's my main man. Yeah, I was able to get all my guys on the board. So they've been hiding in these uh, orchards just waiting. They knew the red coats were coming from this way. And, and it worked. And it is Montrose. 
So I guess I should just light up clean again. See if I can <laughs> move them off or uh, get some more shock on them. Maybe All right, Montrose is going to have them. They, they were unloaded. I forgot to put the smoke out. He's going to have them just uh, reload and fire an uncontrolled volley. So needing sixes. So now our fire really starts getting effective. Looks like an old bunch wow. of sixes, which isn't bad. That's really good. Yeah, five hits. Okay. You know and you got your dice somewhere. Where are your dice? Well, I'm trying to roll low, so I'm using oh. your dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're trying to roll. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I'm so confused. Oh, another dead guy. Check uh, to see if it's playing again. Hopefully it isn't. Switching dice. I don't want our guy to get killed right away. Okay, no. Okay. So just a dead man. Just a dead man. Yeah. yeah Clean, that was two. not a good move to deploy right in the middle of the field. And next card. So we are uncontrolled here. And we'll just be firing uncontrolled volleys pretty much the rest of the time. One. And now you got to make a choice on what to do with your uh, guy, Argyle. So Argyle has ordered his men back. Um, he's setting up to make a four man or four group giant formation and just steamroll forward. And meanwhile, the physic. The secret lover of uh, Lieutenant Klain has broken free and she saw her, her lover go down and she's running over to, to hopefully revive him. Red flag. Don't forget if we were to pull three flags in a row, it's a random event. Two. That's Harry Johnson. So now you can make your super formation if you would like. Alright, so there it is. Um, we're saying that he's already in formation, doesn't have to form up because he was able to deploy right into it from the jump off point. So there you go. So the leader of this giant formation is uh, Argyle. That means Harry Johnson is a secondary leader who can only remove shock now. Unless Ar Argyle orders the formation to break into two groups again. I need to slow down these Dr. Peppers, man. <laughs> I'm all amped What do you mean? <laughs> all amped they don't have any effect on you. I haven't oh seen a God. thing. Lieutenant I've had six Walker. of them and I can't tell a thing. <laughs> that sound it. It. Sound it's sound your it. turn. I just pulled four. What are you going to do? I can't get a word in. <laughs> uh, what I roll? No, <laughs> I think I need some Johnny Walker to kind of settle me down a little bit. But it is Walker. So Walker's just going to hang there and defend the flank in case Rams Bobbin tries to come around. Okay. Two flags in a row. Three flags. All right. Who was the last person to do anything? Uh, actually, he coming moved. in doesn't. Uh, no, but he was the last he one. He was the last move. one to move. So right. We'll get the chart. Right. Random events. So roll two d six. Seven. Seven. Sergeant, tell the men to sing. If the troops are in any column formation, they make two d six movement immediately. They are not. For luckily for you, probably. But so nothing happens. So, so we both have three flags. So you could use it to bring in. Um, the Indians. Somebody. The <laughs> or Indians. the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really all you can do. And I'm going to... I have to keep one of mine to search the house. But I could activate someone with two that hasn't activated yet. What do I got left? Just two. Some. So two is this guy in here. He's not going to do anything but wait to okay. search the house. Here we go. That's the Indians, Tatanka. Tatanka! So you can deploy 12 from the um, deployment. So Tatanka has come in. Right there, you're going to shoot. Um, Might as well. Unless might you're as saving well. your first fire for something. I was thinking about it, but yeah, I should just go ahead and fire. Okay, so what are you going to shoot at? Um, let's... Uh, well, I don't think I can shoot at them, so I guess... Uh, Why can't you shoot at them? Well, oh, these guys shoot straight ahead. Yeah, but I can't target that I'll group. just spread them out. Well, yeah, but anyway. Um, so these guys would get uh, heavy Hard. cover. Yep. These guys are just in light cover. Yeah. I'll shoot the guys in light cover. Okay, seven shots. Uh, all you get first fire, so fives, because you're long range with a musket. One hit. <laughs> and I'll put it on the non-leader groups. And <laughs> no, 
Nothing. Okay, that was... And reload. A nope. big surprise. The Indians can't shoot straight. They need Get in there with those... Ooh. Hey, look, you got... You can use your four... You could reactivate somebody again. It is tempting. <laughs> it is very tempting. But I need to keep that one. Because I've got to keep searching. So, yeah. Uh, sadly, I think I might waste all those flags next. No, time. you'll use one of them. Tiffin? No. Oh, now you got four. Ooh. Ooh. Now you can do something exciting. Like move my line. Like move your big line up. Hmm. I might have to do that. Okay. All right, big change of uh, well, events here. Oof. So he used his four flags to move up. And? Oh, and... Uh, the nurse is giving uh, Lieutenant Dan mouth to mouth her secret lover. She's very worried. So what happened? I burned all my four flags to try to move them back because I don't want to take that volley, and I know he's going to target them. So I burned my four flags. I'm under control. I couldn't pass. I couldn't get them under control even with the musician. So I wasted all four flags. Next card. <laughs> so, does he get up at the uh, end? Uh, I have to look at the rules for that, but we still got more, don't we? Or does he? What's left um, on there? Oh, oh, two is left. Yeah, you've got your two. And he's not going to do anything. And the Tiffin! Okay. All right. So, we'll figure out what happens to uh, Lieutenant Dan, and then we'll start okay, the next so she, turn. Uh, at the end of this turn, he'll get up if his card gets drawn, apparently. Right. So I need uh, blue one right away so I can try to, once again, to get these guys under control before they get annihilated. Or we can see a nice volley. <laughs> oh, God. Volley from hell. Oh, boy. That would be a hell of a volley. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's two, two in flags. Can't so you activate on two flags? You could. You could spend it right now to activate this Oh, that's group. me. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to fire your volley... But I don't know if the leader has to tell him to... I think a leader would have to tell him to present. That makes sense to me. Um, I mean, they're not just going to present. They'd have to be ordered. So I would say if you want to present, you have to get another red flag to up or to um, activate the officer or pull the red one. Mm, my argument would be that uh, you could make them move on two flags, which... You could would be pretty much the same as the officer telling them to do something because they're not going to move without direction either. Yep, that, make, that makes sense too. But, uh... I've well, actually asked that question. I got an answer and I forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go ahead and pull another... Let's just keep it simple. Blue four. That's Johnny Walker. So Walker's just going to okay. stay put. On anti uh, cavalry duty. Oh boy. So here it comes. Unless you're feeling lucky. Pull that uh, red one and then another flag you can do a double volley. <laughs> it's kind of rough. Yeah. Um... So you would need fours to hit because you would present and first fire with. Well, a lot of shooting, what, 36 shots or 38 shots? <laughs> and yeah, needing fours. <laughs> I'm afraid Montrose would be uh, in bad, sh bad condition after that. Are you uh, going to get greedy? Or are you going to go for the sure thing here? Um, I'm trying to think what I could possibly. So, the only thing. I guess I could get the one and then get another flag and then do it again. Yeah, you could. And then Montrose would be in big trouble. Well, he'd be in big trouble either way, but... Um... God. But I got an equal chance of... Actually, I've got a better chance of getting the Tiffin before all of that happens, in which case... Actually, I can just fire at this point with... Oh, but I can't present. With the three flags you can. Yeah. I better do it. Yep, I would. Just in case. So, okay. So, you got uh, four groups of eight. So, what's eight times four is what, 32? Eight or 16, 32. Plus two more for your leader. So, 
34. 34 shots. So this how many dice for uh, big time? <laughs> we'll, fit, we'll gather up all the dice. All right. This is going to be hurt. This is going to hurt me. 34 shots needing fours. Oh boy. Wow. Well, okay. our, goodbye, Montrose. <laughs> I, I was looking over here going, wow, you I skated. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> we both go, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I did not skate. All right, we'll count them up. 22 hits on Montrose. Man, I wish I could have got out of the way. It's hard to get the militia under control, though. So 22, so 11 on each. So we'll start with Montrose, soft cover. So we got one. One dead. <laughs> one dead and. Three shock. Wow. I got lucky that on that one. That sounds like uh, a skate. It is a little bit, but with these militia, yeah. three shock is not it's good. It's a big deal, but. And the other group. Ooh. One dead and a shock. Whoa. What? I'm impressed. Wow. Those trees, man, were over militia were hiding, laying down on the ground. So we'll laying put down everything on the job. Okay. I dodged a lot of musket balls there. Okay, Tiffin. I was thinking I was going to be uh, about four or five dead, probably about five shock. Actually, I need uh, <laughs> Argyle and then Tiffin. There's Argyle. Okay. So well, now here, I just... Why, why would you need Argyle here? Just No. That's oh, you're talking, no, you're talking about Clean. Argyle's your main man. Oh. Here. That's Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> man, I'm getting all confused. Okay, clean was what I was looking for, and I got him. The now we can pull the tiff in. Oh yeah, because then he'll get up. So you're, you got what oh, you wanted. No, All I right. did not want to have one. That's Montrose, and I don't have any flags to help remove shock either. Damn. All right, so I removed one shock uh, with Montrose, and then we're just going to fire an uncontrolled volley. Thought about moving, but I'm afraid I'm going to not pass the order to get them under control again. And that'll be just a total waste. So at least I'm going to just do some shooting. So I'm going to fire this direction. All these guys are within the arc. So I'm going to, you're going to get to spread them around all of these guys. Which, now that I think about it, doing that, um, it might be worth trying it again. Because the, the amount of hits I'm going to get at sixes spread out among all... Yeah, I'm going to actually try to move. Actually, now that you mention that... Should we have spread? Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, we should have spread them over here. I too. didn't think they were in range. I didn't either. I but we just measured it, and they are within range. But oh well, it's fine. I'll take. I'm happy with the way it turned out. So I'm going to try to get them under control. So I need a five or a six. I got the musician. So I need a four. <sighs> These guys just do not want to get under control. All right, next card. There's, There's my flag. Your flag. Now we can do the tiffin. I wasted a turn last time trying to get those guys under control, so I never got to search. Oh, there's your fourth flag. Keep those flags. There you go. That's three flags in a row, isn't it? Uh, I believe so. And who was the last one to do anything? Those uh, militia? But we didn't ever actually do anything. We tried to do something. You removed shock. That it has to be a move for the fire order. <laughs> so it would have been my fire, wouldn't it? Yeah, watch, you'll get a sharp practice. Fire under the volley. <laughs> All right, man. Hopefully it's foul barrels. Load them up, boys. We're rolling a three. three. Fouled barrels. Damp. Oh, it is fouled barrels. Oh, that sucks for you. Minus one to hit. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, oh, we fouled your barrels. Good God. Yeah, well, at least there are only uh, 28 of them. Could it get any worse than that? Um, <laughs> I'm not really seeing how. No, me either. Three rounds of bloody minutes hey, been a lot better. I, uh, Another flag, so I got four now. I huh? gave you four flags again. Why don't you burn them on your uh, militia again? I got to think what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to I'm going to save my flags, because I can still use them if the Tiffin comes out to activate uh, Wadsworth. And uh, Bartholomew. That's Tatanka. So Tatanka is going to fire. Um, he is uh, long range, so he gets his plus one. Actually, what is our. So we'd have to be at 12 for short range? Yeah, but you get the plus one for being skirmishers. Yeah, I'm just trying range. to think if he wanted to do his uh, Tau impersonation. You wouldn't get the plus one if you get within 12. 
You, only, you only get it um, at long range. Only oh, Lieutenant Dan's. Uh, okay. That. Well, here we go. Needing fours? Uh, no, fives. <laughs> no, fours. <laughs> One hit. I'll put it on the uh, group right there. Nothing. That's Tonka's not very effective, is he? Not tonight, at not, least. Not, uh, not at long range. Five. That's Robert. So Wadsworth is just going to wait. He shot, right? I forgot to. Yeah, he fired at them, right? Yeah. So actually, he's a. Uh... Okay, I forgot to say they were unloaded. They're rifles. Oh, so they are... fired and half reloaded. Okay. So we'll finish reloading and fire, and then we'll be unloaded. That's so we'll be unloaded. Yeah, so it's, uh, we're in effective range, and we get plus one, so we're needing fours. Uh, three hits on to Tatanka. Oh, yeah, they're double unloaded. So do I spread them at all? Cause... No. Uh, group firing can add okay. a group just... So three hits? Yep. It's just a point of shock. For light cover? Yeah, a four is a shock. Alrighty. Okay. And we're getting pretty low on cards, I think. Yep. It's getting there it is. down to the tiffin. Okay, so what do I have? We'll okay, figure out what we do. Yeah. I'm going to activate, uh, uh, what's his face? Bartholomew Hancock. And he was presented, and we're going to fire straight ahead into there with 16 shots, so long range, but first fire and present. So fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen out of sixteen hits. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> but you get to spread spread them out, and um, instead of reloading, I'm actually going to move back one d six. Not far enough, and I am unloaded. I don't even think that got me out of range. I think we were within three of each. By a half an inch. Okay. Okay. So you got to you can split them all up. Okay. So. So that's three, a lot. Thirteen three, out of sixteen. Three. three. I'll put the extra one down here. Actually, I get to put the extra one because you're in the. Okay. Open. So I'll put the extra one on the big man. Okay. All right. That's three shock. Brutal. Big man, one shock, it's not too bad. Two shock. It's a good thing you got two level two leaders. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on your other leader, so check that leader. No. So two dead and a shock on the end, so we'll sort this. Oh, while we're doing that, I'm gonna use another flag to search the building again four this time. So I'm halfway there. No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> halfway there? Almost. I'm at a nine. Really? For my 20. Yeah, because I rolled a five the first time and a four the second time. So. Okay, you're almost, rolling well. Almost halfway All right, there. next turn. So he gets, uh, Lieutenant Dan gets back up. He's been healed by the nurse. And um, yeah, I did more damage with the 16 shots on to you than you did. Oh, on to me with like triple th 34 damage. shots. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. All right. Well, we're dug in. We've been well, here waiting for you. Blue one. Yay. So I've already, so I'm unloaded. So I'm going to just reload. I'm half tempted to fall back into this, behind this, uh, into here, but I'll just reload and present. I'll let you come up and try to take another shot at me. Okay, there's my flag to search. Get yeah, ready I'll for the tiffin. Keep that in my pocket. <laughs> okay, good. Not, not another flag. Five. That's, that's, that's Ram's bottom. That is Ram's bottom. So is he going to make his uh, dashing entrance or is he going to wait? We'll let Andre think about this All one. Alright, so he brought in Ram's bottom there. Um, and then he pulled another chip while I was gone, getting the Johnny Walker. <laughs> Got to Tonka. Pulled the shock off and moved up with his free move five inches. So the interesting thing here is I could get a flank shot with him. I'm on double unloaded, but I could use those two flags to do sharp practice 
with Wadsworth to do a half reload and then I could reload the rest of the way and fire, but then I would be using my flags. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we got plenty of flags left, or plenty of cards left. We'll see if it works out well, that way. I need my uh, my big man. I need my Argyle and a uh, Tiffin. Ooh, well. And you can pull a couple so shots. So that's, he's level two liter. Harry Johnson, yeah, so he can pull two shock off. Okay, so we'll take uh, two shock off. Okay. One, whoa, five. And what do you, uh, you came in at the truck? At gallop? Gallop. Full speed? All right. Or actually, I guess I would have come in at the canter because I could move up to gallop. Yeah. And well, that just gives me more versatility, but... And you can slow down the walk. Yeah. <laughs> Should things change uh, from what I... Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. But no flags to help remove shock, sadly. That's okay. Because it doesn't affect my shooting, right? Nope. Uh, you'd lose one, one, one shot. One shot the there. Two. And so. two shots there. And, yeah. So we'll let him figure out what he wants to do. All right, so Argyle, he uh, ordered them to reload and present. And took another shock off. So now each each of the four groups has one shock. So you actually got that all that shock off there pretty quick. Well, having I still those, have four shocks though. But yeah, but having those two level two leaders in there really helps. Okay, there's my flag. Three so, more. So uh, yeah, okay, Tiffin. You know what I need is another flag. There you go. There's your okay. other flag, and the Tiffin. And I need um, a five. Wadsworth. That is what I needed. Well, so now I perfect. can do sharp practice, reload and fire, and have a flag left. It's exactly how I was wanting it to work out. So I decided just to reload Wadsworth, uh, both actions to reload the rifle. Actually, I could tap reload, couldn't I? You could. Let's see, let me figure right, this yeah, out. I'll just fully reload with the rifles. Next card. Done. Oh, man. Okay. That sucks, kind of. But I'll use one to search, so let's see what I get on that. Watch me get a six. Nah, I had to roll bad one. So I'm at halfway now at 10. <laughs> Alrighty. And then I have two and you have one. So I can do... So Lieutenant Dan has uh, moved up with his free move. He's going to fire at um, Montrose. Is that right? Yep. Okay, four shots. Uh, four hit, or three hits. <laughs> okay, so I'll put two on the non-leader. Uh, Ooh, and one on... Oh, man. That's not good. So I have to roll to see if it is uh, Montrose because they are light infantry. It's not Montrose. So Montrose lost a man, and then uh, dead man and a shot. So Lieutenant Dan has used uh, his last action, so they're unloaded. Moved back. And also, I moved these guys back uh, with my flag. I have one flag left, and that you, is. So you did your search, right? I have a, I did my search and I have a, uh, I'm at 10, halfway through searching the house. Woohoo! Man, taking that one, that one turn out. <laughs> Man, that was a total waste. I should have done it, but, oh well. So red flag. And Tiffin. <laughs> no, please. Not yet. Anytime. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> No, and I can't do anything to stop you. And then what are the chances of me getting lucky again? Uh, well, apparently I'm thinking uh, with the cover, you're not in as bad a shape as we thought. But um, and you probably won't roll as good this time either. This is true. So uh, he's got uh, two commands. So I guess I am pulling a shock and firing, firing back at Solomon oh, Monster. Two shots. Fives. Fives. Okay, okay, we'll sort them out. Uh, six on to Montrose's group. Oh, really, a Travis? point of shock. Really? These guys are damn good at hiding in that orchard. And a two points of shock. Wow. Wow. Man, we are like weathering the storm of musket balls big time. Well, you're up to three and four shock, though. Yeah, that's true. Which, and for them, is bad. It, Especially if you can get a few more flags and pour it on a little bit more. Which, so, actually, I guess I did have the two uh, two flags there. Yep. So you could uh, you could activate 
a unit, so you could fire Tatanka, or you could fire uh, or I could Lieutenant just Dan, or pull a bunch more, uh, or pull a bunch more of your stuff, or mine. How about we just pull two more flags than the uh, Tiffin? Okay. No, you want it? Yeah. <laughs> There's one. Oh boy. There's two. Two, two is my sergeant uh, in the building, so he's not going to do anything. He's leading the search. Oh boy, Tatanka. Damn. Uh, so Tatanka has moved with his uh, free action. One of his actions moved up to the wall, hard cover, and he's going to fire at uh, Montrose in fours. Two hits. Two hits. So, uh, wow. one here. Oh no. One here. So another dead. So these guys are starting to get taken a little bit. Next card. Luckily, we got ten men in each of those. It's the only thing saving us. All right. There's your flag. Okay, good. I need to. Keep, I need to get this search going because. And there's uh, two more of my shock. The steamrollers coming. And down to one shock. That's crazy because you had. A, I put a lot of shock on you with that one volley. Yes, you did. And there is. That's uh, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. So you could uh, remove the shock with a flag and then um, uh, oh because that wouldn't take a or no you can't why you can only remove additional shock with oh, a yeah, flag that's true um, so yeah he has to actually burn a whole turn to become shock free all right so he did not remove the shock and actually he could use um, his a flag to increase his initiative which would let him take the shock off and do something, but he decided not to do it. He's getting greedy. He's going to try to go for a fourth flag and I, fire another volley. I got an equal chance of getting the flag or the tiffin. So, well, how about you get something of mine for once? Uh, we're making up for those first <laughs> couple turns. Okay, here you go, right, Johnny Walker. He's man. I'm just leaving him over here because I know that Rams bottom is going to try and swing around. <laughs> so I want him to pepper him when he gets on the way in. So eventually, actually. Can I see them now? Well, I don't think so. Yeah, I can't. Oh, they're blocking anyway. Well, plus I could see maybe one guy. You could so. see one guy with two guys, or maybe yeah. three guys. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Go ahead. He's just gonna stay there. Another blue flag. Okay. Cool. Oh, Bartholomew. So that's him. So he's just been backing up. <laughs> he's scared. <laughs> I think I'll just present, and if you move up, maybe I can do some more damage to you. So next flag, or next card, please. Man, stop drinking that Dr. Pepper and go to Scotch. Was getting so uh, <laughs> wired. Are right, well, we bringing you down <laughs> yet? To come down a little bit. So five. Who is that? Five is Ram's bottom. Ram's okay. bottom. He's moving at the the canter, so he could speed up and, or he could canter and go to forty-five. Damn, why did? Couldn't I got Walker after you got him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and figure out what you want to do so with Rams the bottom canter. It only got ten on the canter is not very good. But there he is, so next card. I need a flag. Oh God, there goes Wadsworth. I mean not Wadsworth, but Montrose. <sighs> That's what I didn't want to happen. Montrose hasn't gone yet, has he? So I could activate him and try to back him out of there. But I'd have to get control again, mm -hmm. and then I wouldn't be able to search. <laughs> you know what? I've done really well so far. I'm going to take my chances again. Yeah. So you you're presented? No. So I'm presenting and firing. Okay. So 32 oh, dice. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Eating fives. <laughs> 14 hits. So Montrose's group. Three shock. That's what you're looking for, huh? I'll take it. Just double the shock. Non Montrose's group. A dead and two shock. Okay, we're starting to pile it up. And so both Damn. both groups now have six shock each. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one more, and we're gonna start falling back. So next card. And then once that starts happening with the militia, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but at least I can fall back out of the orchard so I can't be seen. There's right. five. Wadsworth, okay. Well, obviously we got to 
an issue. <laughs> There's a bunch of wild Indians in front of us ready to chop us to pieces, so I guess I'll just fire it down. Need threes on Tatonka. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits. Five hits. And then I think I'll move out of there. Ooh, a dead and a shock. And check to Tonka. No. He says, Tonka. no, not so today. One dead and one shock on Tonka, and I am going to use my free move to move back. Three inches, I'm going to use my last action to move back again. So I'm just going to move back to Wadsworth. Back at the fence, and he's fully unloaded. Next card. So this flank is not looking well. Tiffin! Okay, so you got... You, Nothing. You went with everyone, huh? I went with everyone at least once. So I'm just missing... Some of them twice. ...my main man only. So I can use this to search, which I'm going to do. Yes! Oh. Uh, I'm only four from finding the documents, so I'm down to the bottom floor searching. And I have uh, a one left to do something here. I'll try to move back, even though I got six shock. <laughs> So I'm going to see if I can get them under control. I do. They're under control. And they're going to move back 2d6. So they move back 6. Okay. So they're just going to go back. Oh, to so Montrose back. has got out of the orchard. He's now out of sight, thank God. And uh, he still has all the shock, though. And we are getting closer to finding the documents. And next turn. 3. That is... And it's Dan. And he's free to move because he has no. Or he could take his shock off. Well, or that shock up. hasn't been. It's not doing him too bad. Yeah. Plus, you get that free move, so you could move up and. Or you could take the shock off and then move up with your free move. That's probably the best way to do it. So just to get is, uh, pull the shock, and he's moving up to the wall to go with Tonka into the orchard here soon. Into my guns. I got them right where I want them. <laughs> You've lured me oh, in. Oh, no, the Tiffin. I don't have a flag to search. Oh. Ah, okay, but... So you can do one thing with someone that has... Which is basically every... Turn. Uh, he reloaded this big formation, then tried to move up with his last action and rolled a one, but he could not move because he had one shot. Sorry, Sorry, sir. We're too tired from that re reloading. All they did was reload. Oh, man. So that's um, Lieutenant Dan again. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan, Dan has um, moved up to the fence with the free move and then just hopped over, stopped on the other side. Oh, I need some blue. Need some blue. blue. On the oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's the exact same thing as last <laughs> turn. Yeah, if that happens twice in a row, then uh, you get an extra. No, I get an extra turn. <laughs> so you're gonna try to do well. This time you can move them with two d six. You don't have to reload. Um, or I could try 3d6. Uh, no, because then you got to run them all separately, and then but, that could be messy. Well, but how bad would it be? Uh, we'd roll separately for each group. Right. And then you would all be out of formation, probably, and you'd have to form up. Uh, but do I really care? I need to get up there. Well, just roll 2d6. So then form up in the column, and then move up. And get get blasted. Yeah, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna separately three d six on. All right, we're gonna figure right, this end of turn. This is what that big formation looks like now. These guys got really good runs, and these guys are back here, and they each took a shock, so they're moving up. So if I do find the the uh, intelligence, I might want to go out that <laughs> <day>. <laughs> behind my group guys and try to get the hell out of here. Oh man. Oh, it's a different turn, Andre. Don't forget, we just oh. pulled the Tiffin. <laughs> I know, it seems like the same as last turn, because it is. That, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so, uh, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan, you form my uh, main line. Lieutenant Dan, a flag in the Tiffin. Alright, here we go. There we go. You get to search. Alright, now pull the Tiffin. Oh boy. We'll give you, we're we're going to tempt you a little. Three flags in a row. So this group will move last. Yes. So roll uh, 2d6 for me. A nine. I seem to remember that being a Where's good Where's that damn map? If the troops are in Mark's column, they will halt when next activated. So they are not. Okay. 
They know where they're going. So next week, let's go. <laughs> we're, we're on the road. We know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, Bye. Got so that's uh, Wadsworth. He can't see anything, can he? No. Mm -hmm. My tap reloaded, and I moved half over the fence with a double one. Oh, speaking of ones. Oh, that's the big man. So okay. I don't know if we're close enough to form up here. So you're going well, to have these guys are. Yeah, so you can have them. So with they one can... command, you can get them into a group. And actually with the other command, you could order them to move up. And then when he pulls his card, you can order him up as well. So, uh, so he was able to get them all back up and get that formation, three of them back into formation. So that was a nice move there. It's the next card. That was both of those. He used a... Uh... Wait, how did they move? I commanded them. Oh yeah, you commanded them? 2d6, they moved and up. And then you ordered six, everyone to form six, up. Six, and then I gave a form up. <laughs> Actually, don't you... I have to give form up commands separately, don't I? Probably, yeah. Uh... You misled me there, Travis. So these guys aren't in... Well, hang on. You... <laughs> what? You were the one that told me to move them up because I would form them up all at the same time. Well, I thought, but yeah, I think you're right that you might have to give the order to individual groups. Now that I'm thinking of, we're going to need to read it. <laughs> so he's going to use his flag to increase his initiative and do what we just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it much simpler. I'll replace <laughs> my flag. <laughs> Travis pulls two. That's my sergeant here who's doing nothing. We're just waiting for that Tiffin to finish the search. Searching, searching, searching. Uh, so that's Montrose. Uh, how many flags do I have there? Just one? Uh, you have two. So I could use, remove some shock okay, So Montrose here. used one of the flags and one of his commands to remove two shock. And then I reloaded. And? And the Tiffin. All right. Let's see if I find those documents. No. No. I'm real close. I, <laughs> but I suspect hot. it'll happen soon. <laughs> getting hot, cold. So that was hot. your other yep. flag. So I've got a flag. Yeah, and you got a lot of stuff left to do. So you can move. Now you can move. All right. He wound up using his one flag to activate Tatanka and got all the way into the orchard. Okay, I need uh, Bartholomew. Blue three, please. I need to get some fire onto this formation. Well. We need to uh, break up this rebel rabble and <laughs> Drive me off the route rabble. them. Route this rebel hey, rabble. Blue three. What do you know? Just what I wanted. I want to fire. All right, we're presented, and we're gonna fire in here. So I guess we we'll probably will hit those guys too, since they're in the arc. Um, just a quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, uh, Eighteen shots. Even fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two each. Two each his own. Two each his own. And I will reload. Okay. We'll start here Actually, and go I like that. Back. No, I'll just reload. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fit into there with the Sure formation. you can. So nothing. that's a nothing. <laughs> nothing. That's more nothing. Oh. What the hell? What's up with my musket balls? I made a paper? Alright, two shock. And one shot. shot. Man, so, not nearly as good as my first volley. Yeah, tell me about <laughs> Really? Yeah. And here I thought that was just as effective, Travis. No, not quite. Thanks for uh, Almost. clarifying. Almost. All right. I was a little concerned. Next card. Alright. And it's a red flag. Don't we do a three, a red flag, and the Tiffin? Oh. Four. Yeah, what was that? Uh, Walker. Hey, so he Walker is going to fire onto Ram's bottom. Uh, he hasn't shot yet, so first fire and plus one for light infantry. Long range, so needing fours. One, Woo. two, three, four. Four fours. And. Three shock here in the open. We're in that tree line. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> so that'll hurt. That'll hurt uh, Wadsworth or uh, Ramsbottom. That'll slow him down a little bit. He's only level one, so. Oh, oh no flag. 
Damn, but you can okay, do something. Okay, well, Tatanka is going to attack Montrose's group. I'm sure he'll get there. Yeah, no, no problem there. Rawr. So we've calculated it out. I get four dice. He gets 13. And that's due to all the shock. My supporting group gets um, some, but their shock negates that outright. And I've got no bayonets. Thank God I'm not unloaded. So I get four. He gets 13. So Tatanka is rolling in to attack I Montrose. should probably make some uh, inappropriate ethnic <laughs> remark at this point, but none are coming to me. All right. Ready? Yep. Uh, I got none. <laughs> I think I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. So the sixes are shock, and then you got four more dead. So you got six killed. So well, that's obviously, Montrose is obviously one of them. So let's well, see what happens Well, it's, it's spread between both uh, groups, though. Is it? Yeah, because oh, the they're, su yeah. they're supporting. Okay. Even though they weren't able to give you any dice, so they're still there. Each. So three each. Okay, so let's roll for Montrose. Oh, it is him. Let's see what happens to him. He's knocked unconscious. So we'll sort all this out and come back with the final. Okay, so final result is the formation shattered. I lost by a lot more than four. <laughs> they fell way back. Um, and after all of a sudden down, I'm down to five force morale now from ten. So I lost half my force morale on that. I lost uh, my Montrose is knocked out. And the Indians are getting close to the house. And it's the next turn and I need a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in miracles. <laughs> I do. Man, if I would have just not done that stupid uh, <laughs> thing with them, I would have had the documents and I would have been moving out. We, we both agreed at the time <laughs> that it was a smart move. No, it doesn't look so smart. Not so much. Uh, and that doesn't look like a smart move for you. No, um, because I was hoping to get them so I could assault or do something to Tatanka. Well, I so. might be able to put some shock on them. You're going to shoot Tatanka? present and fire. Presenting and firing on uh, yeah. Tatanka? Uh, maybe not Tatanka. Backstabber. Actually, I could <laughs> order him, but uh, now nah, we'll just present and fire. Okay. No, it's not. Huh? Or, oh, do I get that? Because I got minus one for... Oh, 25. 25, okay. but yeah. do I get extra for my dude? That's counting the dude. Yeah, because you got 24 for the guys, plus two. Okay, minus so one. minus one less. So Tatanka, so uh, Argyle, um, he has the drummer, so he ordered Tatanka up to touch the building, so that stops the search. So I have to get Tatanka off of the building so I can resume the search, and I need one more. <laughs> one more to find the document. We're so close. I can feel it. It's it's here. It's in the stack. And then he's going to uh, present and fire a volley into Bartholomew. Present Hall. arms. With 26 shots. Fire. And oh, look at all those sixes. I think you're needing fives. Wow. All right, so it's 13 hits. Uh, seven are going to go on to uh, Bartholomew's Hancock. Five shock. That is not good. And then a dead and four shock. <laughs> oh my god. It's uh it's rapidly going downhill for you, Travis. I was so close. I was so close to finding the documents. And then what was the other one? Five shock and four shock. And then one dead. Alright, next card. Man. Poof. I need a miracle. Give me a two. There it is. No. So, uh, damn chickens. Number two, who is that? Uh, Harry Johnson. So he took off a shock and moved them up so they can be snapped into position. I need a red flag. No, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. How about a blue flag? I'll take it. Looks Maybe. like you're going to find it. I mean, well, I need a blue too so I can clear those Indians off of the building. No, I don't need that. That's Tatanka. So, oh. well, he's already activated. He's already activated. There's Actually, the he hasn't. The group has. So you could remove this shock. I will go ahead and take that shock off. Okay. Yay. Blue four. Blue four. Johnny, Johnny Walker, Walker is just going to fire another shot at Ram's bottom. Uh, needing fives this time. One, two, three, four, five. 
Five hits on Ram's bottom. You're using all your good uh, good shots over there on Ram's bottom. Uh. And we've got two shock and a dead. And check Ram's bottom. He says no, no sir. So two shock and a dead. Next Ram's card, Ram's bottom is at five shock. One. Uh, <laughs> uh, what you gonna do when you get your card? Well, I never did use my holy man, so I might as well do that now and get rid of. It's never a good time to get two of these stacked on top of each other for shock. So, <laughs> take one d six shock off with the holy man off of uh, these guys because I don't like seeing two stacked on top of each other. <laughs> okay, well we don't have two stacked on top of each other anymore. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> All right, next card. Uh, can, can't you pull some shock off a... Uh, no, because he's, he, he's down? He's knocked out. Oh, man. Okay. That's a bummer. Yeah. But you knew that. Uh, five. Ram's bottom. So, yeah, you better start pulling the shock Ram's off bottom, of Ram's bottom, uh, went to the walk, turned, and tried to move, and rolled a double one with five shock. So basically, he just turned his flank to us. Another red flag. It's not looking good. And Aww. the tiffin. And I can't search. I never got the two to fire down onto these guys. Or to try to do the fisticuffs. Well, you got a... I do have a flag. You do have a flag, but I've got two, two so I go first. Yeah, and you have a three, just a three left, who is uh, Lieutenant Dan. Um, so Lieutenant Dan, uh, free move, moved up, and you got everyone within six of the edge, so they can see uh, Bartholomew Hancock's formation. And uh, you're going to fire and even fives with uh, five dice. I'm thinking maybe I should move Four up dice. once more just so you don't get a cover shot firing through the woods from those guys. All right, so if I get four shots. Four you don't shots. get one because you're doing this after the tip. You don't get a bonus from your officer. Okay, so four shots. Even fives. Two. So one each. So Hancock. Non-Hancock. Gotta see if it's Hancock. Oh. <laughs> it's Hancock. No. That was not what you were wanting, Travis. No, it was not. So let's see what happens to him. He's killed. Oh. Blew his brains out. But they're gonna patch him up back at the camp. <laughs> He'll be back in the next battle. <laughs> Got a good brain surgeon back at camp. All right. Next turn. I'm uh, about to call it, but well, oh, bad thing for. I still get to go. Bad thing for your leader. Yes, bad thing. One That's junior leader or senior leader one killed minus no. Yeah, nothing. Okay, I'm still at five. Sweet. So I'm gonna use my last flag to try to do a fisticuffs onto Tatanka. To oh, too bad you don't have a senior leader with them. I don't need it. I can. Uh, I'm activating the group. No, I mean for the uh, points oh. dice you would give the. Uh... Yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> oh, I forgot to roll my. Uh, um... Tomahawks on that last fisticuffs. <laughs> I should get them now. Yeah. I don't think you needed them. So I'm going to see if I can do a left turn and left flank or left face and roll a pair of snake eyes. Come on, baby. Seven. That looks like you got Minus oh. five. No. Oh, five shock. Damn. No, I don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I just turn and move through. Do I do actually do the move, or I just not move at all because I didn't make it? No, you 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 were running that way. Oh, so now I'm going to be hit on the flank. <laughs> yeah. So I'm facing that way. Yes. Oh boy. It's getting ugly. Uh, that's beyond ugly. Yeah. So uh, now I'm going to roll for the uh, good doctor. Okay, he's going to see if he can make the good doctor make his escape here. He does not. Ooh. He needed a three plus. So uh, we must have him like chained to the unconscious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the unconscious Montrose has got a chain around his ankle. Uh, it's probably just, just a rope. Okay, let's see. Connected to the doctor. <laughs> the rabbit goes around the tree and down the hole. Uh, yeah, yeah, never send a doctor to do a simple task. Yeah. All right. All right. And my apologies to all the doctors out there. All right. Montrose is calling it. He's on the floor bleeding, but he's saying, man, <laughs> get out of here. So we're leaving. We're fleeing the field. Uh, while Save we yourselves. Save yourselves. Leave me. Leave me behind. Oh, no, sir. We cannot do that. Yeah. So 
But my, my main reason is because if Tatanka was to assault and get the doctor and kill the rest of my militia, that would be a major victory for the British. As it stands now, it's a minor victory for the British. So the British had to, uh, what did they have to do? They had to stop the search of the house and secure the doctor for a major victory. They only accomplished one, it's a minor, so they did stop the search with one left. One left. If I would have not <laughs> tried to move Montrose back to avoid that volley and use that flag to search, I would have had the documents. It would have been close. They would have been right here, but I could have escaped out and maybe got out, but it didn't happen. So it's a uh, minor victory for the British. The Americans needed to secure the documents and get them off the table and hold the spy to win. So we do hold the spy. So whoever's left of the rabble here are going to drag the spy and get out of here. So, But yeah, it was a close game. Really close. I mean, it came down to one bad, well, not even a bad decision to try to pull back. We, was, we both thought it was a good decision. What it really came down to was you came out really strong in the beginning and it just didn't look good for me and you for the first couple turns had all the cards and after that I was just oh. getting strong cards and yeah. it's tough <laughs> to recover from that. Um, I, I, got, uh, I got a lot of cards when I needed them. And, and you broke those militia, I mean when there's the militia, if you just keep keep pressure on them, they're gonna. If you it's can, bad for yeah. Them. Um, and honestly, they held up pretty well to that line. I mean, that was a hell of. I don't know that we've ever had a firing line for long. Uh, maybe it's not that long. And I think another mistake I made was I shouldn't have pulled them back. I was wondering what you were I should doing. have fired one more volley and then went back. Well, or just kept them up there to take some pressure so that the uh, um, irregulars weren't getting all of the, uh, or the militia weren't taking all the uh, shots. Well, my plan was to get the militia out of the woods and then have <laughs> these guys set up to fire as you came in, but... Yeah, but once the... I couldn't get them under control. I was going to say, once they were under control, they were kind of stuck there, so... Yeah. It... Uh, you know, I think you might have been able to hold that line with the other guys there. Maybe not, but I probably wouldn't have been able to break the militia. Well, you would have had know. to. You would have had to start splitting your fire. Yeah. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have pulled them out. Having both of them would have gave you more. It would have made you think more about what to shoot at. But I was hoping I could pull them back, get them set up, presented, pull them back, and then as you came in, shoot yeah. at you, but. Like you said, the cards, the way they were coming out, man, it was just well, we had uh, not good for me. We had some really long turns, some really short turns, <laughs> and um, you know, each of us was getting some key draws when we, I, what, three or four times we called, I need a, and yeah. <laughs> it came out. I mean, Ooh. you know, it. Uh, we were both very lucky and very unlucky at times, but bottom line, it's better to be lucky at the end of the game than the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good game. I mean, I was kind of imagining it coming down like this when I was writing about when I was writing the, the mission. And I was happy to see it actually kind of unfold the way I imagined it. That charge with the Tonka and getting him up in contact at the very end with me needing just one more. <laughs> and you stopping it and me not being able to clear to Tonka. So Tonka MVP, obviously. Although the formation was good, but Tatanka was the, the one who Tatanka is the one that pulled it off. Um, and he always does that. He always does that. And, uh, well, and we were talking about how he didn't do anything for, you know, what, the first two volleys he fired? Yeah, he, he was, didn't even put on a, a, a shock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't doing good. But he got his tomahawks out, and they made him red, and then uh, well, game over. <laughs> yeah, you start doing the math on an assault with... Uh, Tatanka and uh, it almost always looks good against a militia unit with no bayonets, a bunch of shock. Well, yeah, once you got shocked up, it was I was wanted to hit him with Ram's bottom, oh. but I couldn't get him positioned. Well, that's the one thing I did that did work out was having Johnny Walker out there to keep Ram because I knew Ram's bottom was going to try to come around, so his whole job was to just keep him at bay, pepper him with shots as he came in, and he did that so. That was pretty much the only thing that went right for me. 
So. But, and Ram's bottom definitely uh, has his tail between his legs there. Yeah, he's uh, he's hurting. But anyway, it's a great game. Uh, so the uh, British got a minor victory. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and write the next one based on what happened here. And I don't know what I'll think of, but uh, hopefully it'll be something as good as this one came out, which I was happy with. So, but anyway, thanks for watching this one, and don't forget to check out the uh, Tabletop CP Patreon page. And again, thanks Dan, and thanks to all the other uh, patrons that I have. I appreciate uh, you guys helping out, and also check out the Tabletop CP Facebook group. So that'll do it for this one, and we'll see you next time.